Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, what is it, 15th, 16th? You know, timing is fluid, so yeah, the next one I'm going to do is the new moon reading. I'll do the new reading, hopefully today. Uh, that'll be the next one I do, I think. Anyhow, what do we got? This is for, I mean, so maybe this will resonate anywhere from now up until that new moon. But this is a daily reading, so we'll, we'll say it whenever it resonates, right? So what do we have for a message today? What kind of message do I have to deliver today? Somebody is uh, building up their security. They're building it up, okay? This is uh oh, well look it's a ten of pentacles, but look at that jar is just about filled. It's that that's that's security. This is real secure. Okay. So it looks as though you can almost uh Cap it. Hmm. Now that's the Ace of Pentacles going in here. So that somebody is taking this opportunity and it's like taking it to the bank. This is this is this is great. This is great. So the Ten of Pentacles is secure. That's long term security. Uh permanent, something permanent. Um permanence. Somebody could be starting a family, something to do with a family. Uh, this could be job security, relationship security, success. So there is some sort of success. Of course, we get one card that has flipped out and it happens to be the opposite. Six of Wands reversed. So this is a Six of Wands reversed is a loss. It's, it is. It's a um, not not making progress. Hmm. No victory. Somebody has been in a situation where there was no progress there was no victory there was no win it was very, they weren't winning they were losing they were losing we're going to put that back in and we're going to keep shuffling so they were losing ah 3 of swords so this is heartache uh, suffering pain new opportunity so this is uh, a new op a new door. A new door is open. New security, new job, new venture, new opportunity. If you put in effort and leave the past hurts behind. Somebody has been in a painful situation that really hurt them. They may have been depressed, sad, uh, moping even. Uh, somebody has been hurting But it's like they know that that all they have to do is accept the truth. They need to accept something because that's the sort of truth. It's the sort of power. Somebody has given their power away probably to somebody that hurt them. They've been blocking their emotions. They've been suffering in silence or suffering alone. Feeling... Um, down, feeling unworthy, uh, blocking themselves from opening up. So we have somebody here that has been suffering, but now they got the new golden opportunity. Okay, because we definitely have a golden opportunity here. We do. Um, somebody is receiving it. It's like they're taking it. They're taking it to the bank. It's like, yes, this is a yes. Yes, I want this. I'll do it. I'll do it. Even though there's some element of, of, of pain here. 
Ten of Wands reversed. Now this is making a conscious change. Somebody is making a conscious change to drop a burden, drop some weight. Somebody uh, could be. Now this is paying. This is somebody could be paying for something as well, or they're saving up their money. They're saving. Somebody may be saving up their money to make a change to get out of a painful situation. Because this is a new, this is this is this is like a new opportunity, a, a new new ground, a new horizon. This is where um, this is dropping something that doesn't serve them, and this could be a weight, it could be actually weight, it could be a burden, it could be a job that weighs them down. Something is weighing a person down, and they're dropping it because they got a new opportunity, or they see a new opportunity. They've been. And, but this is like saving up, saving up. But per perhaps it's time. Every, somebody has all that they need to to move forward. This is starting something new. A new enterprise. Laying the foundations. Somebody could be building a new home. Moving to a new home. But this is letting go of something that has been weighing you down. So this is... Somebody is, is, they're letting go of something and they're ready to start over. This is starting over. It really is. They're ready to start fresh and do it at whatever it takes. It's like, the, this is a big opportunity here. And it really is. Interesting. Ooh, three of cups reversed. Now, three of cups, there's, there's uh, a termination perhaps. Or, um... Parting ways, parting ways from some, somebody is parting ways from, with somebody that hurt them. There's, there is a separation here with these two cards. There is. Somebody has been, maybe they've been saving up their money. They've been waiting for the moment to, 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 uh, drop this. Somebody could be even giving them some money, giving them what they need to help them. Okay. Cause this could be somebody giving a gift. Oh, eight of wands. Now this is ready, ready. It is ready. And there is news. Somebody is receiving some very good news. Somebody is going to receive some good news. They've probably been waiting for this news. This news is good news, okay? Somebody's going to be receiving some good news. But this three of cups reversed, three of cups reversed is lack of emotional growth. Or friends that really aren't friends. Okay. We have somebody here that hasn't been socializing much. Or they haven't felt the desire to socialize. Or they were dealing with people that really didn't support them. These people weren't really their friends. Or, or they weren't emotionally supportive in some way. Um, whoever these people are. these And it's... Font. Somebody has been guided. It's like now they know. Now they know. Now the Hierophant is about belief. It's about faith. This is a higher power. A higher power that interve intervenes and gives you a message. So it's like getting the message. Somebody is getting a message from, uh, you know, God. A godly energy. This is a teacher. This could be a teacher. Somebody needed to learn some sort of a lesson. And there's like a third party here, perhaps. There could be a three. There could be a third party. Somebody that that uh, intervened or got involved in a commitment or a relationship because the Hierophant is commitment. Somebody got involved or uh, something like that. There, this is the end of a situation. This is the end of a third party situation. It really is. It may have something to do with a marriage or a commitment. Somebody has been suffering and I think they've been suffering in silence. I do. 
They haven't been speaking up. They haven't been acting with integrity. They haven't been taking care of themselves. They have the power in their hands, but they haven't been using it. They haven't been accepting it. They haven't been accepting the truth. They've been um, just sitting there worried about what everybody else is going to think. You know, worried about the, the commitment that they got themselves into. We have somebody here that is really struggling with that Three of Swords, as you can see. Somebody is definitely struggling. They're, they're struggling over, you know, a commitment. They're, they are. There's somebody is struggling over a commitment. Um, but this is a, a, a golden opportunity to... To start over somebody may be deciding they maybe now they got the money or they they got what they need to step onto the new path okay because this is a new path something is going to happen and usually with the eight of wands that happens fast this is good news that arrives very very fast and this whatever this news is it's, it's a solid offer this is somebody is is communicating uh an offer to somebody that is real. This is real. This is solid. This is stable. This is something you can take to the bank. This is something that you can bank on, right? But this is about making a conscious change to let something go. So you do have to let something go. Okay? That is the Ten of Wands reversed. Knight of Wands reversed. The Knight of Wands reversed is somebody that is reckless. Overly competitive. Mm -hmm. Devil reversed. Now this is freedom. This is freedom from something, or this is, but this can also be that uh, somebody is in a very, very, very unhealthy, toxic situation that is weighing them down. And this is like, think when the devil comes out in reverse, it could be, you know, things getting worse. You must break free from this addiction, whatever it is. Somebody is really, 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 really suffering. They're really, really, really suffering. And it's because they're not moving. They're not taking action. But I think they're going to take action. They could be a sudden. Because this could be a sudden departure. And this can be very sudden. Sudden change. Sudden movement. Suddenly somebody, something happens. Suddenly something happens. Something. Somebody breaks free. They break free from something. This is freedom. So this is like, I think that, that sudden, suddenly somebody breaks free or they get broken free from something that is unhealthy. There is some sort of tie that is, is being broken by the looks of things with the devil reversed. Now, the devil reversed uh, is a deep, dark place where... There's been some sort of, and, and with this one, I mean, there's been some sort of depression, okay? Somebody's been in a very depressive state that has kept them down. It's like they didn't have, the, there's like a lack of confidence here. Hmm. Something could, now, with this, hold on one second, it's like it, that Knight of Wands reversed is somebody that acts very reckless. You know, you got to be careful, okay? Be careful because, you know, this is like falling down. Somebody, you know, somebody could uh, get hurt. Four of Pentacles reversed. This is opening up and sharing. Wanting to give. Ooh, somebody was in a false contract. This is a false contract. They made a poor decision based on ego. And now they want to give. They they want to go. And I think it's like a, almost like an instant decision. 
It's like they want to go, but I feel like they've been saving up or they've been waiting for the right time. There's definitely, we definitely have an ending because of these tens. We have the ending of a false contract, okay, of a third party situation. We do. We have the ending of a false contract. Somebody is about to open up and give. They're about to give something. And this is a card of acting with integrity, doing the right thing, even though it's not easy. Some, this could even be an apology. Somebody may be offering some sort of apology. But this is moving forward very, very fast. Somebody is a get about ready to open up. Okay, and it could happen very suddenly. It could. Somebody made a poor choice based on ego, based on greed, based on selfishness. But now they're breaking free from that. This is breaking free from that toxic behavior. Letting something go with the Ten of Wands reversed. Some sort of burden or some sort of baggage that they were hanging on to. So somebody is letting go of some sort of baggage, you know. They've been overwhelmed. It was just about killing them to hold on to it. And they just can't hold on to it anymore. So I feel with the lover's card, with the lover's reversed, there's some sort of uh, separation. Okay. We do, we do have, a, it, with right next, this is a, the devil reversed is separation as well. So we have a separation here and a separation here. We have a separation here. We have a separation. And I think it happens, and even though this person has been waiting for the moment, it's like now is the time. It's like suddenly, okay? Suddenly it's time to let this go. Cause, and it is let this go because the Four of Pentacles upright is holding on. Reverse is letting go. So, and this is, so somebody is letting go of something that they were tied to that was very toxic to them. And it could be an addiction, okay? If it's not a person, it could be an addiction, so somebody is 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 um, deciding that they're willing to do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, they're willing to take the hot, the hard road. Okay, this is a hard road. This is this is. I will do whatever it takes. I'm gonna follow through. I'm gonna follow the plan. Somebody is coming up with a new plan. They're setting a goal to drop something, and it could be a bad habit. It could be. An addiction, it could be a spending habit or a gambling or a food or drugs or whatever it is. But there's something, or it could be a partner, it could be a sexual addiction, it could be a third party situation here. Uh, it could be a false contract, okay, this is a false contract. You know, somebody got themselves into a partnership that wasn't compatible, right? Now they're letting it go. They're letting it go because it's like they get, you know... <sighs> maybe they want something more stable. They want something more long-term. And maybe that's what they're thinking. They've obviously been struggling with long-term stability. Maybe they've been struggling with commitment, struggling with marriage. Now it's like, you know, now it's like they're, they're ready. This is, these are, these are both ready. Somebody is ready. They're ready. They're ready to move forward. They're ready, and these, this is the this is the rods of love, right? So they're, they're ready for something stable, and they're ready for love. So somebody is 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 willing. They're willing to communicate. So there's some sort of communication that is coming. Okay, it's coming. There is um, from somebody who is. They're just ready. They're ready to open up. Um, I think there's a broken relationship here that that is um being released or it's being dealt with in some way it's working together teamwork putting in effort communication so somebody communication is coming somebody is is has decided that they're going to put in effort they're going to prove themselves they, somebody made a poor choice they did. They made a poor choice with that lover's card reversed. Stuck. A hangman is somebody that is very, very stuck, has been wasting time sacrificing their own needs for other people. This is also a card of letting it go. This is needing a new perspective. And I think that somebody has received some sort of new perspective. They have. I think that they have received some sort of new perspective about uh, what is secure. What is security? What is secure? What they want. 
So I think, uh, woo, King of Swords, somebody just didn't care. They didn't care. They were cold. Maybe even abusive. This is abusive energy. Somebody has been hanging on to an abusive uh, partnership. And abuse comes in many forms. It does. But now there's freedom. There's breaking free from it. So somebody is, is, is finding their ability to break free after being stuck. And they, I don't know if some, they're getting some sort of financial assistance or they've saved up enough money or something. There's definitely some sort of freedom here. Or there's a big payout. Somebody may be getting a big payout. They may be getting a big check from somebody with these two cards right here. Somebody is going to be getting some money. They've been through a painful situation. And it's like now they're getting, this is, there's a reward, okay? So this is getting a reward. So something is going to come very, very fast. It's coming. The re, this reward is coming. The reward that you have, have worked for, for somebody. Because this is putting in effort, okay? So somebody is about to put in effort. Um, there's been some sort of delay. There has with the hangman. There's been a delay. This Hierophant is about commitment over here. It's about commitment. It's about marriage or... Access to God of some sort. A higher power involved. Somebody may be wanting to come back around. The Eight of Cups reversed. They may be wanting to come back. And they, they may... Um, or they could be even leaving. They're leaving something that with a third party situation up here. Um, there's definitely lack of emotional growth. There's emotional weakness here. Somebody has been pretending. They have been pretending to be in a happy commitment. They've been ha pretending to be happy. Uh, wh whatever they're doing, this is pretending. Somebody has been pretending. There could definitely be an apology with these two cards. It could come all of a sudden. Somebody may be apologizing. Uh, that they even, Maybe they gave up on, on a partnership when they should have put in effort. Because um, this is putting in effort and this would be giving up. So, I, you know, I feel like and somebody is finding their uh, moral backbone to either apologize or step forward or start over or in, in the apology could be sorry I have to go we definitely have a painful separation here that somebody has been suffering with and there's about to be a change and I think it's going to happen it's somebody's going to receive some good news whatever this is good news it is good news this person may have been mentally abusive uh, physically abusive, neglectful. Uh, what kinds of abuse do we have? We have emotional abuse. We have physical abuse. We have verbal abuse. We have uh, psychological abuse. We have mental abuse. I don't even know. There's all different kinds of abuse. We de this person is is abusive. Okay. So, but this person may have gotten a new perspective. So, I feel as though uh, maybe this person just didn't care in the past. They just didn't care. Or they weren't very intelligent. Or they weren't very smart. They weren't very wise. Maybe they've lost. Or, they're, they, you know, because the, the lover's card upright is, you know, the love of their life. And this is a bond that has broken. So somebody has has uh, broken a bond with a lover. So yeah, there's a bond that is breaking between two people that... Probably need to communicate. So I do feel like communication is coming if this reading is for you. Somebody is wanting to put in effort 
to prove themselves. They're about to open up and they're about to give. And I think they're about to do that because they don't want somebody to leave. They don't want somebody to walk away. Could go, it could go, go a bunch of different ways. But I feel like somebody is also getting an apology. Because this is these are both apologies. This is communication. Somebody's going to be getting an apology. Somebody is going to maybe getting a could be maybe getting um a divorce. I mean I hate to turn it like that, but there is definitely going to be uh forward movement. This forward movement is positive change. It is. So, one more card, then we're done. One more card. Get prepared. Get prepared for an arrival. Get prepared. to Here it is. Hope for the best. Give it a chance. Whatever you've been waiting for is about to show up. This is something sh you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for this. And maybe it's a relationship. You notice the ship. Maybe it's a relationship. You've been waiting for this. Yes, there's been a delay. But here it is. Now, didn't we have a couple of threes? Three, 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 three. Three, three, three. Prayers have been heard. Okay. Um, growth, change, divine guidance, like I said. Somebody has been divinely guided to follow their gut and stop pretending that they're happy where they're at and to go down the path that they know that they need to go down. So it's like somebody has been not been listening to their gut. Anyway, I feel like there is a a new opportunity that is that is opening up. I think it's a big one. It is something you can absolutely positively take to the bank. This is huge, a huge new opportunity that could be very permanent, very long term. It could really uh, bring you uh, complete stability. Complete success. A lot of comfort and prosperity. So somebody is, I think there's somebody who's going to take it. This is like a gift. Somebody is receiving a gift. And it's a big one. And it's a very abundant one. This is a new solid opportunity. This is something you can touch. It's what you asked for. This is manifestation. Somebody has manifested something. Big. Here it is. Good luck. 